What's going on, Legion? As really like always, we got the best of MMA trash talking to the guy that linked this. I am sorry that it took this long to get to your video. Uh, I, I went to do it the first week it was suggested, and I forgot. And I think I went to do it the second week, and not only did I forget, but I forgot because Avengers Endgame stuff came out, and Game of Thrones stuff came out. And I completely had, I had 15 videos I made. And that wasn't one of them. And I, I literally, I, I was like, yeah, I got to do MMA this week. Because I kind of didn't do it last week. You get one week for a grace period, right? After it's, you know, recommended, you upload videos. And then maybe the next week you get to it. Because you had a planned, you know, something or other. <laughs> and I just didn't do that. I completely was like, yeah, we got to do MMA. And the next day I'm like, holy shit, there's all this stuff to react to. Oh, this and this and grab some of those. And ooh, Game of Thrones. And and then I was, as I was done, and I was finishing up, and I was uploading the first video, I was like, all right, what's the links? And, oh, trash talking. I should have done that. So that's my bad. Um, yeah. I don't promise that I get to these videos quick, but I do get to them. Is my thing messed up? No, it's not. It's just darker on, the, on this side, right, right there. It's just a little dark. It's not as gray as I thought it would be, right? That's how you overcome things. That's how you put yourself out there. You believe it, and you achieve it. And that's what I do. I know what I'm going to do. I know that I'm better than the self I know that I'm going to knock book you've ever read. Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Even he started laughing. He's like, fuck me. Hey, pussy, are you still there? I'm here. Fuck that guy. Cormier. Cormier, right here, what's up? Right here, the hardest hitting 145 pound. The real hardest hitting 145 pound. Oh, here's the racist. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. They're not going, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? I mean, do you understand, Errol? You and everybody else waited in the weather. You came to the press conference. Vandalay, it looks like he found a bathroom as a backdrop in the men's shelter he's living at in Rio and got somebody to point a cell phone at his face. I mean, I'm done Damn! You. you can't be done talking to me. You're right here facing me, <laughs> dummy. I'm you got to talk to me. You have no choice. You got nowhere to go. Keep talking. And you, being the dick dummy. you are, came up to me and was a bitch I shook your it. hand. And, and you said, I already shook your hand and told me to fuck off, basically. Me, do you know, this you, are? Do you know where you are, buddy? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. after you. Yeah. Were, hey, buddy, you, you got knocked the fuck dick. out. You hey. got knocked out, buddy. Sit down, you shut up. You got lucky. All right. You oh, lucky. yeah. Real lucky. Business. First round, buddy. First round. What an asshole, guys. I will come back and fucking kill you. Last question. Yeah, okay. You. Hey, hey, hey. How's that jet lag, you buddy? Enjoy you don't got You're playing touch Woo! with that hey. dork in the park. The ponytail. <laughs> I'm the one who ain't got no training partner, I don't think so. You seem to have it all figured out when you're fighting midgets. Tito is literally in the only profession I know <laughs> of where you don't best. need to wear a suit, and he keeps showing up in one. It's like a local funeral parlor clothes, and he it's went and took class, it off a corpse. Dude. something you need to learn. Shows up class. looking like a maitre d' at Golden Corral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and by the way, Anderson, if I want your opinion, I will beat it out of you. Don't, don't walk around handing out free advice. Why don't you go find a Sharpie marker and draw Steven Seagal's widow peak on him? His hairline's about as authentic as his fighting abilities. So you go sing to your hamburgers and dance on stage with Justin Bieber, and I'll handle the heavy work like I've done in this company for the last five years in your absence. Are you the biggest pussy? Am I the biggest pussy you have ever met and you want me to suck your dick like you told me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Is that what you told me? Is this not real now? Are we pretending? Are we pretending again? It's hard to hear, it's hard to hear you. Are we pretending again? Are we pretending again? Are we pretending? Oh, no. Are oh. we pretending? Are we no, doing we're, this we're fairy tale shit again? No, you are the biggest pussy I've ever seen, for sure. Okay. Okay. You were on welfare, bro. Okay, then. Who you ain't no man. You took welfare. Okay, don't then, talk, then don't what, talk then about what, money. Don't then you talk happened, about then, money. Then, then, then you what took, wasn't it you took money from there. single moms. Single moms go on welfare, not men. Wow. Connor, you talk about money, all right? Keep your mouth shut when it talks about money. Connor, you're going for history, mates. Let, let's make a bet Damn. here. Let's, if, if you fucking have the How much? to do anything. With that half a million. You're making bets with that half a million I gave you? Notice. 48,000 you went from. You went from 48,000 to half a million. Thank me and be grateful. Be grateful. Okay, you done fucking talking now? There's a bug. Why? Go away. Take this fight on two weeks' notice with me, motherfucker, and I'll whoop your ass. Two weeks, three weeks, I tell I butchered your face. I KO'd 
you, you were curled up like a bitch. You were curled up like a bitch. You were curled up like a bitch. I like butchered your body. You couldn't even lift your hands up. You couldn't even lift your hands up. You can do that all you want, but at the end of the day, the knockout speaks for itself, and you hit the deck like a bitch. You can complain about your rib. I'm sure your rib did hurt. Your rib is inside of a coward. That's the problem your ribs got. Got the same problem your hand and feet have. They're attached to you, dummy. Hey, guess what? Yeah, right hook. You're gonna see something completely different. I haven't even used my left leg this whole camp. Ooh. I haven't grappled a bit just to let you know. Come, my God. come get. I don't have anything against the Brazilian people. I got uh, something against a Brazilian that's sitting a, a few feet from me. And uh, maybe over the couple other gentlemen, but uh, your women are all okay with me, so feel free to give me a call or pay me a visit. But, you know, as far as my impression, it's a lot like America. You know, when I was a little kid, I, I remember going outside, I sit around with my friends, we talk about the latest technology and medicine and gaming and American ingenuity, and I look outside and Anderson and the Brazilian kids are sitting outside playing in the mud. I'm going to talk about money because we are the business network. Damn. The business of the Ooh. U.S. Indian. All that I'll take sort of over stuff. from here, Nate. You can bounce. <laughs> take, take a coffee break, Nate. And by coffee break, I mean bring no. me my coffee. No. Excuse me. Could you imagine the excitement that Fedor must have right now? Could you imagine how bad he wants to reach out and touch the largest arm in Westland, Oregon, that is sitting right next to him? Instead, people keep going to Vandalay Silva. You want to hear from Vandalay Silva? You want to know how you could get as much tantalizing conversation from something as Vandalay Silva? Just talk to my shoe. Just ask the shoe. What's it going to be like, shoe? What's it going to be like to walk into Madison Square Garden in front of a sold-out arena with the biggest box office in history because Bellator called the king? And you know what Vandalay's going to say? Oh, garble, garble, garble. <laughs> It's garble, 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 Mr. Sonnen! No, I do believe it was the uh, performance of the night. Who won that this time? 50 G's, baby. Thanks, Luke. Beginning of the year, he tap like chicken. End of the year, he fight for the title. Crazy. Hey, the, 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 you know, guys, this is true. This is not trash talking. Hey, guys, Irish, only 6 million. Russian, 150 million. I want to fight with your chicken because this is number one easy fight in the division. Steven Seagal said that kind of behavior is an embarrassment to the human race. It's an embarrassment to the martial arts. Well, I don't know anything about martial arts, but Steven Seagal would know a damn lot about behavior that's embarrassing to the human race. All right. Damn. I'm 5'6". You're 5'4", at least. Three, three inches taller than me, buddy. 5'4", <laughs> at least. You should stand up because we can barely yeah. see you on the screen. <laughs> You hear a funny story? You want to know how I got into the country? Huh? Right there. I went and got this to sneak Dude. into this country. I thought I could go undetected and it backfired. Everybody approached me. I thought, thought I was Noguera. Jesus. Number one bullshit. Count to ten, both of you gentlemen, if you don't mind. Just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. Oh, we... Count to five, Nate, will you, if you can? You can't. Who do you put that coffee? How about and who that? do you put that coffee? Is that your pussy? That, that you're forever going to be my pussy? That you and also that I'm forever going to be your pussy. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Tito always was says I'm using my mouth to get my opportunities. The only person that? I know that made money using their mouth is his ex-wife. <laughs> was that the was, was that the one that uh, Cormier lost? Did he lose after that trash talk, that conference right there? Let me know. Let me know all the people that won and lost. For all the ones that, you know, obviously I was like, that's the best. Of course, Bizbang and, and fucking Nate. I don't know if that was the first or second time with Nate or those were the first and second times where Nate won and then lost. But let me know if you can, the winners and the losers from all the trash talking, if you don't mind taking the time out because I kind of want to know. Well, just to correct you, I was never no marriage. You're a fucking punk, dude. <laughs> that's, what you call, that's what you call class right here compared to no class. That was a nasty line. No class. Me. Shut up, Tito. No Gino. class at all. That's why you see him with thongs and fucking jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Tito Ortiz. Is this the money channel? The <laughs> I told you that to take you five. absolutely did. This I told you to take five, yeah. Connor, Connor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, 
Age, we shoot, we saw your true colors. We see who you are. You just said I can't compete with you. I just knocked you out in the first round. Cold. Have you seen that replay, buddy? Your head was bouncing around like a pinball machine. I lost it. Yeah, yeah, watch it again. Obviously didn't sink in. Yeah. Uh, Dominic, next question's for you. Whatever. Uriah It doesn't mentioned... matter. I live for the now. It doesn't matter about down the line, Congratulations. buddy. Congratulations. You just got knocked out. Uriah. It's kind of funny. Um, I was listening to Kristen Walken, a um, little skit he did, and he talked about a lion king of the jungle, this huge lion with a big giant mane in this hot smothering weather in Africa. And the little small lions come up, kind of poke at him, bite on his ear, bite on his neck. The lioness comes over and buzz, bugs him. Then you got the jackals and the rest of the wilderness looking and seeing these lions on that mountaintop. They come over and bother him. The jackals laugh at him. The hyenas laugh at him, nip at his toes. They eat all of his food. And they sit back. And they got jackals like this who think it's a comedy. Until one day he gets sick of it and he attacks and he shows to these people who the fucking king of the jungle is. And this little hyena, I'm gonna eat right through him. And we'll see on Saturday night. I think, I, I think I've earned mine, but I will do whatever I need to do. But it, it will be a, a short lived destiny, I promise you. You just can't let it go, can you? You just can't let it go. Oh, those lemons test. Great admiration for what Tito's achieved in mixed martial arts. I care for everyone. This may be a lie, so just let him go and speak. Tell another jackal story about Christopher Walken and a, and a mane and a lion and uh -huh, a uh -huh, Vitor from uh -huh. back in the yeah. day. Fucking joker. You're a joker. Man. Hey, Clancy. You're a joker. You're a joker. You're a joker. Gareth, please, go ahead. Do you see the genius at work? Do you see how I did that? Do you see what just... See, that's not really Vandalay. That's my boot, young lady. Do you see why I'm a genius? And meanwhile, Fedor is up here going, oh my God, he's here. That's the guy I read about. That's Chael Sonnen. The guy on the left, look like he's gonna cry. He's feeling the same thing you're feeling. Chills going up and down your spine, face to face with greatness at this old building decorated with concrete known as MSG. Oh, wow, <laughs> MSG, son of, that was, uh, that was kind of a low blow, I think. You can say whatever you want, but, you know, about family and stuff like that. That shit just happens because people are dicks sometimes. But, like, fucking hell. The uh, MSG, all right. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy at the end, he was just, he says all kinds of fucking shit, dude. I, I feel like this is, like, 1999 WWF, like, people are being murdered, you know. There was an Australian murderer that escaped from prison in the WWF. Like, I feel like we are in, like, that guy was saying some, like, fucking, some fucking shit, dude. Uh, it, some of it was just, like, pr it was funny, but some of it I, I was, like, because it was it was brutal stuff on some of that. The ex-wife stuff, some of it was cringy. Uh, I, Conor McGregor, I, he got schooled a lot more than I thought he would be. Nate Diaz, you know, he, he had less to say on that Skype interview. Um, and the fucking, the money network lady, whatever network that really was, uh, she was laughing at how, like, Connor was just saying that he was just a, pretty much a dumb, not white person, is what he, what Connor always implies, is that anybody that's not white, he just, he always kind of tears them down, um, cause he's, he's a, he's a bigot, kind of, um, at least racist, bigot I think is just, like, outright hatred, I think maybe Connor's too stupid for that, and he's just racist, because um, the stuff that he said is racist. Maybe he's not racist. Maybe he just does things, says things that are ignorant and stupid to be funny. And in a very lowbrow way, they can be. Like, I can understand how stuff like that can be ah uh, ha ha in that setting, I guess. When you're shit talking, when you're in the heat of the moment, when you're not sitting there having a, a normal conversation about something else. When you're there and you're trying to destroy that person for everything they are, uh, like the guy that was in the last clip, he was pretty much just talking about fucking America. You go outside, a bright sunny day, technology and medicine and stuff like that. You go to Brazil and children are playing in the mud. You know, but there are ca Caucasians in other parts of the world that aren't from countries, or 
but the countries that everybody kind of goes, oh, like in, in Mexico and Brazil, South America in general, uh, and all the countries that have that kind of Hispanic and Latino and, and Spain, every, all those places have Caucasians in them. That's not, it's not just, you, you know, unique to to uh, dark-skinned people. And he was just kind of, like I, I felt like he, that's who he was attacking. He was attacking Brazil. And maybe he wasn't. Maybe that was just me reading into it. But from the white guy talking about the greatness of America to going to Brazil and watching the children's play in the dirt, I feel like that's a first world, third world, kind of America, Africa kind of situation that he was kind of putting in there, but he just kind of substitute Africa for Brazil because he's talking shit to that guy. That's how I viewed him saying it. Because, and I just wanted to say, you know, for anybody that's just like, well, that was really brutal too, you know, this is. There's people of all kinds of skin color from all parts of the all parts of the world. It's not just one, you know. <coughs> and I felt like some of those were directly as as pretty savage as they were because the person they were talking to wasn't white. It's the only reason why I said that. Um, I know some people are gonna be like, "Wow, you read into that real quick that he was being racist." That the guy at the end, not Connor, the other guy. Um, and I felt like that's kind of why he was attacking him as as hard as he was, because he's from what he was calling like a shit country. You know, and I felt that because it was like, like that, that's kind of what he was associating it with, like a, a, a white country versus a non-white country. That, that, that's just how I viewed it, because the stuff that he was saying, just playing in the dirt, playing in the mud, you know, poor and stuff like that. He, those jokes aren't about, you know, Britain or uh, Norway, you know, or, or stuff like that. You usually pick other countries where the predominant people aren't white. So that's that's the connection I was making. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm I'm not really making that just out of nowhere. I'm just saying that's those are the jokes that people will think that are funny. And anyways, I can understand when you're destroying somebody in that moment, in that setting, some people can find that funny. I mean, I guess I can find it funny, I guess. But sitting here, I'm just like, eh, that was just, you know, Conor McGregor was being a little racist or whatever. Dana White, it doesn't matter really where he's from. There's things that people say, and in the moment, he's between the two guys, and he's just like, wow, that was really racist, or that was really fucked up. Like, Dana White doesn't really say, oh, I was, you know, we were there, they were heated. He might say they were angry, but I've seen his face when people have said things, and he's just like, yeah, it's, that was a dick thing to say. I wouldn't have said that, because I got more class than you. And why is why he runs the company or used to? I don't know. I'm sure people are going to have some kind of issue with the comments that I've said, um, and I really don't care. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see whatever video I'm doing next. Thanks for suggesting it. If you want to put the part two down below, I'll get to that hopefully a lot sooner than this one because I actually want to see the rest of it. So um, yeah. Again, thanks for hanging out. If you want to leave a comment down below, love to see love to hear all the comments. And I'll see whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.